Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. This flower math problem is said to come from a Chinese test for five-year-olds. After it was posted online, it created a huge debate as people could not agree upon the correct answer. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching. In this video, I will present what many people consider to be the correct answer. To get started, you want to look very closely at the pictures. In the very last equation, the first picture shows one yellow flower. This is not the same as the equation before, which has two yellow flowers. Now look at the blue flower in the last equation. There are four petals on this flower. In all of the other blue flowers, there are five petals. Arguably, these differences mean the very last equation cannot be evaluated. However, we can try and assign a consistent value with all of the other information in this problem. Let's try and do that. The first equation has three red flowers equal 60. This means one red flower is equal to 20. The next equation has a red flower plus two blue flowers equal 30. We can use the value of 20 for the red flower, and then we have 20 plus two blue flowers with five petals equal to 30. We subtract 20 from both sides, so we have two blue flowers with five petals equaling 10. If we count each petal as a value, we have a total of 10 blue petals. So we can assign a value for a blue flower as saying it's equal to one per petal. The next equation has a blue flower with five petals minus two yellow flowers equal to three. We can assign the blue flower with five petals a value of five. We then are subtracting two yellow flowers to be equal to three. This means that each yellow flower has a value of one. Now we'll use this information to try and evaluate the last expression. The yellow flower will replace with the value of one, the red flower will replace with the value of 20, and the blue flower with four petals will replace with the value of four. We have one plus 20 times four. 20 times four is equal to 80, and we add one to get our answer of 81. Did you figure out this tricky problem? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.